Working me, she working me, urging me, it be urging me. Alright, let's clean the eye boogers out. Ooh. Okay. please okay guys let's get started my cousin is on her way so we gotta make this quick so for primer y'all already know the becca ever matte poreless primer i really wish chick-fil-a was open right now it's Sunday, so they're definitely not open. I should have shaved my mustache. Mm. Well, we're here now. Alrighty, for foundation, let's move the mirror. For foundation, I'm going to be using the Fenty Pro Filter Foundation, of course, in the shade 240. And I am honestly going to do a light layer, like light, light, light. Cause I honestly like, I'm just, I'm just trying to get by today. I ain't trying to be doing the most. I mean, I barely wanted to put on this makeup, but I said, well, let me just film, I guess. This shade gives me life. Y'all, this Fenty foundation, it dries quick. She does not mess around. Ooh, she is matte, which is cool. Fenty foundation, if you haven't tried it, is very matte. She says soft matte. Re Riri says soft matte, but somebody in that lab said, oh, we gonna take care of the we gonna take care of the um the oily sisters. So it's January, right? Oh, the shade. Yeah, I have three shades of this foundation. You wanna know why? Because oh, the hair. Pay no attention to the hair. But I have three shades of this because my first shade. I came back from Virginia Beach, got matched because I was like, oh, the Fenty Foundation is out. I'm definitely going to try it because it's all inclusive. She got my shade and my yellow self. Listen, so when I came back from Virginia Beach, I got shade matched and I was tan. So when I wasn't so tan anymore, I said, ooh, this foundation that they matched me with looks real good in flash photography. But um, in the daytime, it made me look like an Oompa Loompa. I said, wow. So then, after several attempts of finding a different shade, Try it, coming home, trying it, taking it back, trying it. Finally, I got matched with this shade that I'm using, 240. And let me tell y'all. The, see, the problem with this foundation, I everything is so good, except Rihanna's foundation oxidizes, at least on me. I don't know about anybody else. Rihanna's concealer in the shade 240 but this may be too yellow oh I'm a little or not 240 220 maybe if I just put like a
ooh, this, um, it looks good on, on the monitor, on camera, but in person, it may be a splash too yellow for this foundation. See, she has so many, look, I never thought that having so many shades would be a problem, but Riri, your shades now. You got so many shades. I'm over here. My mind is overloaded on all the all these shades. I think I'm overstimulated with all the, the yellow that's going on on this desk. This is a go. Ooh. <gasps> okay, y'all. My camera stopped recording. Um, and I had a <laughs> I had to work quickly with these under eyes. So I used her concealer in the shade 220. This concealer is really thick and creamy and that's great. However, it dried fast. Like you have to work quickly with this concealer. Cause um, and then what I used to set the concealer was my Laura um, Mercier translucent powder. This foundation is so, I'm gonna go ahead and set Sorry, I'm like bouncing all over the place because I'm so amazed at her foundation. I'm gonna go ahead and set around here. Her foundation is so like smooth looking on my skin. It's like, Riri, girl, you knew I needed it. You press, ooh. Make sure I'm still recording because my my stuff like to play me is take this Morphe E8 brush. I like this brush. I'm just going to kind of like dust away any excess. So yeah. I'm going to go ahead and set that fun stuff. Ooh. See, I just like how it looks on my skin. It's like very smooth. Mm. I done found the perfect combo, y'all. So now what I'm gonna do is bronze up the face. I'm gonna be using the Hoola Benefits bronzer. I still got this little bronzer to off the excess here. And I'm just gonna swear, I'll just... Yeah, I don't know what my hair be doing, okay? So if y'all coming for me and my hair, Rule number one, don't. Okay, so now that we are done bronzing, now that that's done and out the way, I'm gonna throw on some blush. I kinda like the simplicity of this look, like no eyeshadow, no, like this is really all face. Ooh, wrong brush, oh Lord. Anyway, I'm gonna be taking this Milani powder blush in Coral Co. number five. Look at this, y'all. On my skin tone, like, better like, it's muy bonita y mi piel. Little goes a long way. <laughs> As I continue packing it on. Yes. I mean, look at that. It's just like, natural looking okay so that's done that's taken care of what are we doing with the eyes i really don't want to throw on mascara like it's just not that day for me should we do brown brown skin you know i love your brown i can't tell where yours begins are we doing a liner today friends Ugh, I don't know if I want to be that committed I kind of like where this is honestly I kind of like where this is right now I don't want to be that committed today I have commitment issues with makeup today okay I don't want to put on liner or anything else of that matter should I do a lash If I do a lash and I have to put on some sort of liner, that way the band, it'll all look cohesive. Nope, I think we're good.
Alright, so for the lips, I'm going to go ahead and finish everything off with the NYX uh, Butter Gloss shade in Madeline. Alrighty guys, so that is today's look completed. I am loving how this turned out. It looks very good on the monitor, but even in person, my skin just looks good and smooth. I don't really see my pores that I normally see with a lot of foundations and things of that nature. Um, I'm just loving this very natural, light, no eyeshadow makeup look. All right, and as always, don't forget to hit the subscribe button and the like button. Um, and other than that, I'll catch y'all later because I'm about to go and I'm hungry. Peace.